Welcome to It's My Inspiration, Monday, February 21st, and I am my own producer today, so I will try to do the best job that I can without Roger. Um, this has been an interesting week. Uh, a lot of you saw my video and saw that I removed it. And part of the reason I removed it is because someone left a rude comment on the, my YouTube channel that I didn't want Rhett to see. Not all people are happy in the world, and that's too bad. But we're not going to let that stop us because it's Monday, and I'm sure something has inspired me. Actually, someone has inspired me. And I thought I would tell you a little bit about her today. My grandmother came to mind when I was thinking about this week's edition of It's My Inspiration. And I want to read for you a quote, and the quote is by Bernice Johnson Reagan. And the quote is, life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. Now, my grandmother had multiple sclerosis, and she was embarrassed. She didn't like the fact that she had it. She had a really rough upbringing. My grandmother took her door to door and basically knocked on the door and asked people if they wanted to take care of a little girl. She had a really, really rough upbringing. With that being said, she was a centrifugal force in my life. Yes, I love my parents very much, but honestly, the person that probably shaped my growing up years was my grandmother, Dorothy. I would like to share with you a letter that she wrote. It's dated 5-2 of 85. So uh, we're talking 20, oh gosh, 26 years old this letter is. And she wrote this letter to an MS magazine. And I'd like to share it with you. It's a story about how I inspired her. But so ironic, when I read the poem at the back, you'll understand why she inspired me. If for those of you that remember uh, Sally Jesse Raphael, her and I used to sit up and listen to her talk show at night and laugh and laugh and laugh. Um, the memories that I have with my grandmother, not just the music, but her personality and the way she handled her disease may not be the choices that I make now, and I'm making different choices because of her. So before I read this, I want you to think of someone in your life whether they've handled something in a way that you've approved of or disapproved of, it's changed and shaped who you are. So this letter was written by my grandmother. Hi, I can't write so great, but here's the poem I told you my granddaughter wrote to me. There's a story behind all of this. When she was four, I started to sing, I taught her to sing and to show off. By the way, before MS entered my life, I was an entertainer. I played piano and organ and sang. She went on to become Weemus, California. Whenever she sang anywhere, I played piano for her and hoped that I wouldn't have too far to walk. Then she became our little miss of California. We formed an act. We called it Lori Presents Me and Grammy. We played and did different things. It was harder and harder to make my legs go. Then we decided to let her mom in on the act. She played the drums, I played piano, and Lori took over all the singing and the dancing. Now it's Lori Presents Me, Mommy, and Grammy. We auditioned for the gong show and won. All the time, it was to the point that I either had to use a wheelchair or stop doing things with her, and I would not use a wheelchair. I have a scooter now, thanks to my friend Marilyn, but that's a different story. Now, Lori is 15 going on 16, and she wrote this poem to me. I was paid in full, and she underlined the full part, for this neat poem, signed Dorothy Malley. Thank you for letting me share this story with you. The poem goes, For every day that you think you are suffering, remember all the love that you've shared. Think of you as the tree of knowledge, and I soak up the fruits that you bear. I know we can't possibly feel it, the frustration that floats through your air. A lot of it lands around you. If you need me, I'll always be there. You listen to all of my problems. I take for granted all that you do. Our friendship has no boundaries, when no one has a shy of a clue. I watch for your facial expressions to tell me when I'm doing something wrong. 
I try to tell you I love you and you make me feel like I belong. You never are going to know how much your just being means to me. Just wait until I get my permit. They'll open our cage door and soon we'll be free. The process of knowing how to help you, I try by just being around. You pick me up when I'm feeling lonely. I'll cheer you up when you're feeling down. Love forever and ever, Lori A. Gentlin, your buddy. Now I shared that with you not because of the things that my grandmother said, but because at 16, I already understood that by her just being there, she made a difference in my life. So I'll close with just a little bit of a song, nothing major, just something that she taught me and I gotta sneak and use the lyrics a little bit. It's called Side by Side. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we're traveling along, singing a song side by side. Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel the road, sharing our load side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall? Just as long as we're together, it really doesn't matter at all. When they've all had the troubles and parted, we'll be the same as we started. Cause we're traveling along, singing a song side by side. Thanks everybody. Happy Monday. Have a great day. This is my inspiration. I hope it helps make it yours too. I'm going to grab the camera and show you what it looks like outside of Minnesota and say goodbye. For my friends in California, we're expecting 20 inches of snow today. But you know what? That's okay. Hope this day finds you in a great place and that you're inspired by someone that will always stand by your side.